is a tipping point where the cancer overwhelms the immune system and, and forms a tumor because most people don't understand it. A cancer tumor is tissue that has been built by the body to surround and wall off malignant cancer cells from the rest of the body. You know, the cancer cells can't build tissue. They're pretty stupid. You know, they don't know what to do except divide out of control forever. But the body's very smart and it says, oh, whoops, my immune system is not doing what it's supposed to do and controlling these cancer cells. They've gotten out of control temporarily. So I will wall them off with tissue, which forms a tumor. And then, of course, this is detectable because it'll grow gradually as the cells inside it divide out of control. But why does the tumor occur? Well, it occurs because the immune system, which is desi designed to take care of cancer cells, which grow in our body every day, has been overwhelmed. And you can have the toxins, for example, from dental toxins for years, decades, literally. People go 30, 40 years with root canal fillings in their mouth, and they say, well, I never got sick from these. Well, the toxins were being taken care of by the immune system. It's, it's how it's designed. And all of a sudden, something else happens. Either your diet that you've been eating all this junk food for all these years catches up to you uh, and your body gets overwhelmed by uh, the toxins from your diet and the combination of the teeth and you get to the tipping point as I call it where you you get cancer as a result of overwhelming your body's normal reaction to cancer cells and you know I, I describe it as a ratio to people a ratio of cancer cells being killed by the body over those being produced by the body, or, or vice versa. Uh, for example, if you put a number on the top of a ratio, just draw a horizontal line, and put a number like 10,000 on the top and 9,000 on the bottom, well, the number on the top is the number of cancer cells being produced by your body every day, and the number on the bottom is the number being killed by your body every day. Those numbers are obviously just representative it's more like millions of cancer cells. But when that ratio is out of balance, that's when the cancer develops as a, as a recognizable symptom, a tumor, a lymphoma, leukemia, something. Uh, and when it does, you know, there, there is uh, a necessity to reverse that process, to get that ratio back under control. And that's all, okay? You're not trying to eradicate all the cancer cells in your body. That's not possible to begin with. All you're trying to do is get this ratio back where it was before you got a, a detectable cancer experience of some kind. And it, it's quite a simple uh, concept, but once people understand this, they realize you know, I can evaluate whatever treatments I'm considering based on this concept. Is this going to improve this ratio? Is the chemotherapy that I'm going to, you know, subject myself to, is it going, going to help overcome this ratio of excess cancer cells being produced to those being killed by your body? Well, obviously, if you're going to challenge the immune system with something as poisonous as chemotherapy drugs, you're going to weaken it to the point where it can't take care of the number of cancer cells that are being produced. You can't kill off every cancer cell in your body. It never happens. You know, that every day we're producing cancer cells, those of us that don't have diagnosed cancer. So, you know, hey, you know, the, it, it, chemotherapy kills cancer cells. Certainly it kills you know, hair cells and cells in your gut and cells in your mouth and so on makes you very, very sick. But it does kill some cancer cells. The tumor gets smaller. You know, you seem to make progress. This is the cancer doctor's you know, a definition of progress. The tumor has shrunk somewhat. Well, hey, that's not the definition of how to heal cancer, shrinking tumors. That's just uh, the reaction to this poison that you put in your body. But the, the ultimate result is that you've damaged your immune system, the only protection you have really against cancer permanently, you've damaged it to the point where you're probably going to get worse. 
and you're probably going to go downhill and you're probably going to get more of the same kind of treatment and eventually die of the treatment not of the cancer in most cases that's my experience at least the cancer treatment is what kills cancer patients not the cancer there are 44,000 women in the United States last year in 09 whose deaths were attributed to breast cancer despite what some men seem to think the breast is not a vital organ okay the, the breast is uh, is a problem breast cancer is a problem but it's a relatively minor one that can be easily reversed with almost any kind of treatment literally that's what I've found it because once you detect, detect the cause of it which is usually a root canal filling or something that is related to the breast tumor it's pretty easy to reverse why do women die then of breast cancer it's almost impossible you cannot die of breast cancer you can die really of the treatment of the breast cancer because this causes it to spread elsewhere in your body that's been weakened by this time to uh, dealing with cancer cells so it gets into other organs in your body overwhelms your body's ability to handle it and eventually you die of the treatment basically but uh, be careful statistics like this are very very misleading uh, very misleading